Just like King Sphinx, Pumpkin Rapper didn't have any paint detail. Really, all they could have did was give it a wash, and it would have not perfect, but it would have been passable. I wasn't happy with the figure at all, so I went in and repainted the entire figure. Uh, from head to, I'm not gonna say toe because I didn't paint the boots. So from head to about the bottom of the leg, I repainted everything front and back. Because you know Hasbro, they probably would have just put a wash on the front and not the back of the figure. But I wouldn't put a wash on everything. So before we get into any of that, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, notification bell, so you know when I upload. I don't want you guys to miss out on this greatness. Uh, now, Pumpkin Rapper here. Really solid figure. I enjoyed it. I know some people don't like them. Some people don't like... A lot of people don't like King Sphinx. That's not the case. I love the figures. Um, I don't mind them not coming with what they need to come with because that gives me an opportunity to not only make content, but make pretty cool customs out of them. So I'm, I'm happy that they keep doing what they're doing. As far as I'm concerned, they can keep doing it. Don't mind my cutting mat. I did spill my paint. I spilled some more paint. I spilled red here, black here. It is what it is. It's going to look... I don't know how, how it looks on camera. It's really... I don't know what's up with this camera, but it makes everything look darker than it is. Like, this is not that dark. Uh, the wash on this figure is not that dark. Like, it just looks extremely dark on here. I don't know why. But, yeah. Starting with the head, though. Let me zoom in. I repainted this head with some Model Masters orange. Uh, gloss orange, I'm pretty sure is gloss. I had already put a wash on the, on the head, so I didn't put a second wash. All I did was I put a wash on the base head and then I put I dry brushed the orange on here. So I dry brushed the orange on there and I really like the, the way it looks. It looks like an actual pumpkin to me. It looks like uh, the, the shine is really nice. I really, I really don't. I usually don't like the shine, but on here, I don't mind it. But I went in here with them in the mouth. I painted some flat black in the eye too. I painted all of the face with flat black. So the mouth and the both eyes. And I went in here and just painted that some, uh, I used chrome yellow, I want to say. Model Masters chrome yellow. Um, I also painted this neck piece. Uh, the green on here was all right, but I wanted it to look like after I put the wash on it, it just still didn't give me the detail I wanted. So I went in here on top of the wash. I just dry brushed again the green. And then I, as I was looking at reference pictures, I noticed this was orange. I don't know why they didn't do this for the toy. Like You think that was the least they could do is that. But like I said, it opened the door for me to give y'all content and me to make a cool custom. So not tripping. But I did notice his his uh whatever this vine or whatever it is is orange. So I went in here and just painted that with the same orange I painted the body and the head with. And it uh, I really like the way it came out. I didn't paint the back of it though because I figured it was gonna rub against the body. So I just didn't paint that. I might go in looking at how it sits now. I might go in and just paint it orange anyway. Um, but this green is is pretty crazy. I've had this green before. It's a it's a Model Masters. It's this right here, Model Masters Green Zinc Chromate. I don't know why what chromate means. I'm about to look that up. But it's a really dope green. I really like the way it paints, uh, especially dry brushing. I did it once before on my group, my MCU group repaint I did, and just really liked the way it came out. And then again, I was looking at reference pictures and I noticed uh, he had more green on him than the toy had. So. I went in here, I repainted this green, put a wash on it, and then I dry brushed it. Dry brushed the top of the arm. I also dry brushed in some of the butterfly joint in here on the front and the back. Because I, I, on the reference pictures too, there's more green on the top. Like there's not just green, orange, green, there's green. Wherever this uh, top piece is, it's all green. I, I should have went in here and, and dry brushed all of that, but I didn't. But I, I'm going to go back and hit that with the green too. The whole top of this figure pretty much is going to be green where the vines are. Same orange I used on the head, I used on the body. The body I didn't dry brush. I did a full repaint just to just to knock off the that orange that was there. Now, the picture on the screen is just showing you the before and after. The orange on this figure was really like drab and dry and it didn't look too good after a wash. So I repainted the entire orange bits and um, put a wash on them. Also repainted this part here with the same green. I just dry brushed it and put a wash over that. The knees too. Uh, I noticed in reference pictures, he had green. The green was a little bit higher and lower. So on the original toy, that was just green in the front. So I went around and I dry brushed green all on the sides and in the back. Just to make it look more like the reference pictures again. Back of the figure two, same deal. Uh, painted all of this orange. Where all the orange was is just full repaint and I put a wash on top of that. Um, looking at pictures though, the boots. The boots were never like any other color but this. They weren't even that dirty, so... I didn't paint the boots. I think they look good next to the figure. Um, I might put a wash on them. I'm not really sure yet. Um, I'm going to see. 
Because like I said, ref the reference pictures I looked at, I didn't see any of this. I didn't see any like extra detail on the boots, except they were, I guess they had a wash on them. But yeah, I just went and wanted to repaint this whole figure. But uh, I don't know why I didn't do the boots. But I'm rambling now, and I don't know why. <clears throat> What's the last thing I said? But yeah, I might go in and just put a wash on the boots. But there's a whole figure repainted uh, pumpkin wrapper. I didn't do his accessories or his extra hands. I don't know why I didn't. I'm going to have to go in. You see here, the, the greens are a bit different. This is the original green, and that's the green from Model Masters. It's just more of a drab green, which is cool. I don't think the... Nothing wrong with the lime green. I just wanted it to look more realistic. So I might go in and just dry brush these green too. This one. And then I didn't do the extra pumpkin heads. I think I'm going to have to go in and dry brush these orange too. Because next to next to the next to the figure, these don't look too good. So I might just go in and dry brush these. But I did put that on the putty just to like to show us. But yeah, I'm going to have to go in and dry brush the orange on here too. But yeah, there's pumpkin wrapper front and back. Let me show you the back. There's pumpkin wrapper, all that detail. Now, again, I don't know why the camera's making this seem more dirty than it is. The camera's really showing all the detail, which is crazy. But yeah, there's pumpkin wrapper. Just like King Sphinx, I wanted him to look better. Let me get King Sphinx. It's like King Sphinx, I wanted him to look better. Better than he did um, out the box. That's really my main goal when I when I customized. I just wanted to look better than out the box. King Sphinx really looks great. But him, pump, now Pumpkin Rapper can, you know, join it. And I hope they give us more of these just so I can repaint them. I know a lot of people don't like these figures based on the paint or whatever, but I look at it as an opportunity. So here's those two. Uh, well, here's Pumpkin Rapper. Let me get King Sphinx. Pumpkin Rapper. Here's the green I used. Model Masters acrylic uh, green zinc chromate. And let me get this orange. This orange is Model Masters Interna International Orange. So those are the two colors I used to repaint my pumpkin wrapper. And then I used also Create Effects Wash. This is the wash I used to uh, put the wash on this guy. So these are all the colors and then the wash. I'll put a card to that video. Thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. You know, Let me know what you think about this in the comments. And um, I'm out.